Hello everyone and welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder, we're doing another video with Gonzo Rivera. It's been a while since I've posted a video, probably for another week. Um, been playing a lot with my other tune because of this 100% boost that we've been having. Grinding away a lot of skills. Take advantage of these moments to really get those skills done faster. <laughs> get rank them up real quick. Anyways, so now we are back at it with Gonzo Rivera and it seems like we have rain. Ugh. Rain makes things loud. I'm sorry if that's the case. Well, I have falling items in my warehouse so far. If there are any of these, give me a shout. Cool. So, that's perfect because that's literally what we're going to talk about today with this tune. Is we're going to talk about farms. So, we don't have a farm. But you can get a farm. And the easiest farm to get is not too far away. should take about 15-20 minutes to get to it. And once you're there you can establish yourself a farm in which that will produce goods that you can use um, based off of what your kind of character does. Um, you can choose to do uh, all different kinds of goods ranging on whatever your skills are. So for us, since our skills are going to be in these here with textile trading, fabric trading, and sewing, we're going to try to get these kinds of goods that we could use to maybe convert to other things. So, I think one thing I did uh, that I didn't do on camera with you guys was I started to uh, work on those skills. I'll show you. I got my sewing skill to level 4. And the reason why I did that was because I wanted to get to that stage so I could start doing some of the other skills with our books so you know I was using hardwares I was just plucking chickens or ducks or making wool from sheep or from goat hair from goats and I didn't do any rabbit fur but I did that as much as I could in order so I can you know start grinding up that that, that skill and then I did some of this um, now that I'm level three I took three to wool so I was making wool to turn it into wool and cloth and then I was selling the wool and cloth so it's a bit of a process, but it's a good way to make some money. Now that I'm level 4, I can actually start taking the wool that I make from sheep and turn them into knitwear, and knitwear can be sold at an even higher price than wool and cloth. And as I get to level 5, then I'm going to move on to cotton. And then when I have cotton processed, I, cot I can do this one, processing corduroy, and make corduroy from cotton and wool. And I'm going to keep doing that until I get to a certain level. I bought quite a few of these books already. But, you know, these costumes and making fine cloth, those are always great. You know, level 7, level 8, level 12, look, level 14. We can grind our way up there. But it's going to take time. So, the main focus I want to get onto is starting making sales and selling sales. And as you can see here, it doesn't take much to make them. I could start making jibs, stay sales, bonnets, if I really wanted to. I don't know what these produce, like wise isn't like powerful for us or not but just get some hemp fabric from a local area and some lumber from a local area and you c I could make bonnets pretty soon I know I can make these sales regular sales um, but there are others I can make there's the multiple studding sales can't do these yet but I could do uh, so two jibs or so two stay sales what else can we do I haven't really looked at these but as we start going up Okay, here we go, seven, so we're up higher, but you can see the kind of amount it's going to take to make these things. It'd be nice to get to at least 12 or 15 so I can make full rigged sails. Uh, it's a bit of a grind, but it's not impossible. Um, here's assembly of studding sail fittings. So then once you have the sails, right, and you have this one, this one, and this one, you can make a full, full, uh, four full rig sail. Then people like these mizzen full rigs and the main full rigs. You just make these first, then combine them to make the... Uh, larger sales and then I have a fine hat book which I'm not going to be able to make stuff with just yet but what you need alchemy for I don't know what these things are they're probably stronger hats that you could sell but not what I'm focusing I want to make sales so if I see goats anywhere I see anything that I could turn into a fabric or a, or a wool if it's wool or cotton I need to pick it up so that's going to be our focus uh, soon so when we get to the farms that's where I want to get to first when we get to the farms the farms are going to give us some of these uh, benefits some of those items that we're going to use 
get my daily tow permits. Now, I don't know how much of this I've actually discovered, but I might change ships just to make this a little bit faster because this ship's not the fastest ship. So we'll do the trade ship. Yeah, you can't do that one. Trade ship's fast enough. Dismiss some sailors. We do ship parts from here. We can add our ships with sailing parts. I'm not going to add anything else because we just want to go quickly. Sales are about all we need. I think that's it. Now we have some really good vertical sales. Terrible horizontal sales, but that's okay. Hopefully it'll be fast enough for us. Alright, I think we're ready to go on our trip. 35 days worth, that's more than enough. But yeah, we have not discovered anything here. So where we're going to head to get this uh, uh, farm is this little island right here. You don't see it, but I have unlocked all of this. I couldn't be able to go here unless if I hadn't unlocked these maps, uh, these these ports. So I just need to start going to this area. There's some stuff in these islands that I have not discovered. Like, I think there's stuff in this island. There's an island, Cabo Verde, here that I haven't discovered and a, and a few other places. I'm going to pick them up as I go. But as soon as I hit right around here, I'm going to beeline it for this uh, island here that's going to be where we find our farm the real catch though is that we want to have something to protect ourselves because we're going to be going into waters in which that the guys are stronger than us so with that we are going to put these in our inventory which we have already uh, these are I guess are good too but this is what we're going to use mostly and ceasefire agreements that's what we're going to use next or we could use one of these secret no war packs to keep us from getting attacked um, maybe that's what I'll do just so I don't have to keep on using those. That might not be a bad idea. So, maybe that's what we do. Before we go, we'll equip that. So first, let's put the frugality thing on. I don't need that. Yeah, we'll be alright. And then... Use... Oh, can't. Well, we'll have to be at sale first. Setting sale first. I'll put it on auto nav first, at least to. Nah, no, no auto nav. We're gonna sail for real, and we're off. So let's get sailing. So we know it's to the southwest here. Don't need to get around. Turn on the things we're gonna use. Well, that's all the food I got. If I only have four fava bean soups, we got a problem. Well, we need to get some food. No, okay, we have broad bean soups. Okay, we're okay. Yeah, yeah, we just only got four or five of beans left, but then we have 93 broad beans. So we're okay. Alright, now we're going to use that secret no war packed. It lasts for 30 minutes. Um, that should be enough to get us there. Actually, we're going to use it when we get a little bit closer. I don't want to use it right this second. We want it to last as long as we can so that we don't get attacked along the shorelines of... Africa, because there are some bigger ships, and that could happen to us. We got a lot of food, so we don't need to bother with food. Our aid, I was going to update you on how our aid is doing. Our aid's at trust level 4, so we're still going to sail with them a lot more. We're not quite there yet. No traits to give. Occasionally you'll get these traits that will stack up here, and you're going to want to put them in their appropriate positions for what you have use for. Um, I think we were looking at this guy, and I think it needed to be in the Paymaster role. And we want to have the Paymaster traits higher, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on if it's not high enough. Usually above 70 does most of uh, the, the, uh, the stuff for us. There's an epic sea feud going on this week, it looks like. Alright. By the way, if you're looking on how to put your uh, pet into uh, existence here, like you might have gotten a pet card, you have to go to a pet trainer in one of the uh, major cities, talk to them, and there should be an option to, I guess, quote-unquote, open your pet and put them in your pet information page. I don't know anything about pets, 
it's something that we should get into. Uh, I'll do a little bit of research and maybe start to figure it out. I know that as you travel with the pet and feed the pet the appropriate food, because each pet requires different food, the intimacy level will go up and then they start getting skills, which I'm not sure if how good or helpful they truly are. So, college. We're good in college. What are we doing on our research today? Normal voyaging. Okay, so we'll likely level that up while we're doing this. I think we've already done normal, vo no, normal voyaging before, but we only need to see how it says event progress 100%. That means that we've essentially finished the first level of stuff. We need to go back uh, to uh, England, to London, to actually start um, getting more options to us. Because right now, the only researches that we have available to us are the ones in which that they were able to give us when we last visited. Fortunately, you do have to visit from time to time to get more uh, to get more uh, options to you. So it's it's kind of like an open. Yeah, you gotta go back to get more. You're not gonna have everything you need right now. It's, it keeps opening up to do things. Anybody we know online today? Good Buddha. That's it. Now, I know on one of these islands is a city. Um, I'm gonna say it's this bigger of the three islands that we first come into contact with here. So we're going to go just to the inside of this, and it should be right in the front of us. Good thing it's still 100% boost. We might, while we're on the character today, we don't have to do this on camera. But uh, off recording, I'll probably take this character and do a little bit more grinding in the department of sewing. Because, you know, we want to get there. We want to start making a profit at it. And we want to be able to make the sales we need for our own ship so we get the best possible sales at all times. We don't have to pay millions of, you know, money for it. Alright, so now we're in hostile waters. I'm going to discover this this uh, city here. And then I'm going to use it as we leave it. Oh, look at this. Can the little guys do ESF, Epicique Feuds, or will they get slaughtered? Let's see how he answers, if people answer that, because I've never participated. I do know there is a bonus to participating, even if you are low level. Yeah, hence the three stages. There's like the low level for the small ships, and then mid-level, and then big level. That's what I figured. It's not by small ships, it's not like by that, it's by light, standard, and heavy ships, I believe. That's how they break it up. Yes. We wrote our thesis already. Simple enough. We don't have any place to hand it in here. Yeah. I didn't think so. But it's a good place to stop in here. Yeah, like he's saying, Maritime Level 8. Let's invest. I like to invest in towns as I go, so long as I'm in a trading uh, job, which I believe I am. Yep, I'm still the yarn dealer. Well, let's go see what's at the market, too, over here. Let's see. Raisins. Nothing I can make use of here. But some goods. Cool. Good to know. I believe it's too late for someone to join the Epic Seafood now because it's already started, but... Okay. Now, something you need to know is the sailing of this area gets closer and closer to the equator. As you get closer, 
you're getting hotter and hotter and because of that you'll drink more and more of your water than your food in your stores so it's actually a good idea to stock a little bit more water maybe or just you know if you're gonna be doing it frequently enough just keep stacking you know more and more of your food in as you go but you will use water as you uh, uh, I've used water up more, I should say. I don't want to say use it up. You always use it up. You'll use it up more. I just figured using my Wind Beast Charm. It's only 10% for 30 minutes, but this trip should only take about 30 minutes, and I'll take the extra bonus. Now we have this little blue flag next to us that's going to prevent us um, from getting attacked by ships we don't want to get attacked by. So I'm going to go ahead and sail against the shoreline here. Pick it up the ships as the uh, ships the uh, ports as we go. I feel like we're going pretty fast. The sloop is one of my favorite ships, honestly. It's like my favorite little ship you get in the game. Uh, the cutter is probably very similar looking, and that's another one of my favorites. Favorites. There's another set of uh, islands coming up. Yeah, down here. And they also have a city to collect. at Las Palmas, so yeah, it's Cabo Verde that's coming up, I believe, on the next islands. But I believe there's a city coming up to our left here called Arguin or something like that. I can't remember. If you have the map, you'll know it because you'll be able to see it. I'm sorry if my microphone's being affected by my breathing. I've been noticing that with my last few videos, that my microphone is like in the path of my nose. Yeah, and I hit it sometimes with my hand. So, I try not to be uh, in the way, but uh, I need to get a better microphone stand or one with a wind filter of some kind so this doesn't keep happening. Okay. Get our visit. Getting text messages. Uh, no, Redbox telling me that this is a streaming service today. No thanks. While we're here, I'll talk to the city official. Do our little donation again. Getting that trade fame. It's going to help in the long run. We got lamb, fish, coffee. Oh, wool. Look at that. Perfect. We'll buy some of that. don't know that we need anything else from here so we'll just take that and we will stop off at the tavern or the barkeep <laughs> standing outside the tavern and get some drink and food treat our sailors and get a move on so this is kind of like, you know, port hopping for discoveries. This is what I'm going to have to do with this character pretty much the entire way around the African coast until I get to Calcut. Calicut because I want to get um I want to get all the uh ports that I can uh, eventually with this character so that I can just show you guys pretty much my spice runs and my uh well, I won't be doing spice runs with this character. I, f I feel like we should save spice runs with another character, but um, especially since this tune is on the same account that I have my actual spice character on, I can't run a spice run with him. So this guy is, you know, completely separate. He's going to be another main, but I won't be able to run this guy with another one at the same with my other main at the same time because he's on this account. But I have another character called Chuck Thunder. 
that whom I can use uh, to do help me do spice runs. Take them with you when you go to places. Have them follow you. Get as many spices as you can. They'll, they'll borrow your skill of your spice skill and be able to pick up double the amount of spice in one trip. So, well worth it. I need to get some skills with this tune I that I need. I picked up fishing, I believe, recently too. As you level up, you'll get more more of these. I might grab um. I might grab crafts and handicrafts and arts and tradings at some point with this tune as well. Maybe. I haven't decided. Obviously, let's focus one thing right now. I had another, my other tune that I'm cooking with, my main, cooking has been his main thing. Now, it's not a big money maker, but it's nice to be able to have all the cooking being handled by one tune so you don't have to have everyone learn cooking. I only learned cooking slightly on this one because, obviously, giving this character food from my other main requires taking the main, giving it to my other account, and then having the other account log in, take, uh, and taking that stuff and giving it to this tune. So it's just a little extra work. So this guy should probably have some cooking involved, which is why he has basic cooking level four or five, you know, so we can get the basics. And as he makes his own food, he'll level up too. But I'm not going to focus it as a major uh, point of his character. By the way, I love this music in this body of water. The African waters are th the best musical waters. I don't enjoy the other ones as nearly as much. I can listen to this music all day. Okay, let's go to another town. Let us see. Oh, I forgot I had wool I need to convert. We'll do that on the next trip. Some best. Reach thirty thousand fame. Market keeper, what do you got? Cotton? Uh sure. So now I know where I can find cotton and wool within a close distance from each other. Uh, I can't grab any more cotton. So let's do this. Cargo. And we don't need all of this for what we got. So we'll drop some. Drop five and three and see if that's enough. Oh, no, that's never going to work. I'm never going to make it. I don't know why I'm trying. Alright, so then I guess we can only take like half the amount that we could take. We can't even take that much. Jeez. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and convert this wool into wool and cloth. Because I can't even do this yet, actually, now that I think about it. So I, I can't even buy the cotton for and use it, actually, so we'll produce some knitwear. Space. Well, I don't need to buy cotton then. Because I can't, um, I haven't hit level 5 yet in the skill. Yeah, not there yet, so I can't use the cotton anyways. But I do now know where it is, which is good. We are drunk. Alright. So, Cabo Verde and the previous place we were at had us uh, 
have both wool and cotton, which allows us to do some port hopping. To do that later. So Argoin and Cabo Verde. It's a good port hop distance, not terribly far. And when you get a faster ship, going back and forth with some auto sailing won't take that long. But that is going to definitely be where we grind, I think, after uh, we're done here. After we get our, um, our um, farm set up, that's literally what we'll do. We'll come right to Argoin and we'll start picking up some wool and start grinding it. Now, if you want to be the best at this situation, you'll go get sheep, then make wool. And then from wool, you'll make knitted fabric. And then, once you're level 5, then you can come here and do the wool and cotton to make the next. But, it's up to you. Um, again, like, I'm not super familiar where these places are, but I'm pretty sure there's a place between the Africa West Coast landing point and the Atlantic Central West Ocean Central West Coast, but could be wrong. But we're going to stay there until we reach about right around here. Find one of our cities or towns here and then go straight south. It's going to be the best way to like really angle ourselves perfectly for the island and not miss it. Hmm. Wow, we're only 80 away from being level 20. Or 19, I mean. Which means I'll probably hit that by the next discovery. Oh, and I am making big boo-boos here, in case you're curious. I should be in adventure mode right now if I'm discovering ports. Again, if you're trying to be super efficient, that's what you should do. I'm not very good at it. But since there's this 100% boost, it's a little more forgiving than normally when you wouldn't. Um be an adventurer but I would recommend being an adventurer before you do like a major port discovery run it's going to be a focus of mine just to do it like I'm just kind of doing these because I'm headed this way so I might as well hit them um, but really if you want to get the best benefit grab all of your adventure, grab yourself an adventure job and grab all of your ports while in that adventure job and also do it when there's a boost in on the weekend. So like this boost ends I think in a couple days. When it ends you're gonna want to um you're gonna want you're gonna wanna wait for the next one to come around. I think I see the next town coming up. We passed by that landing point, which is back that way. So Landing points aren't cities. Landing points are areas where you could do some questing and collection and get some nice pictures and screenshots if you'd like because then you like to s you might find just uh, historical objects and locations. Uh, I'm not familiar with them all on my own, but if you're somebody who likes to do adventure, that's the way to do it. And some battling. You could do battling in those areas too. get this port Sarah Le Sierra Leone oh, I should get to level 20 or 19 yep adventure level 19 it's raining everywhere in this game right now Upland rice, red beans, wheat, salt, palm oil, coffee, and incense. And diamonds. Nice. I like to check the shopkeeper here because sometimes they sell jewelry or see things like this. 
they give you d disguise or defense or interesting stuff so if you want to like make your character look a certain way you could buy these and equip it right now we're using our school stuff because our school stuff makes the most sense right now ceasefire agreements if you need more good thing they sell them along the way landmark ribbons are always good to have for when you're doing battles on foot what they do is they bring you back to the entrance that you last left so it's a good it's a good little thing to have Okay. We can stay along the coast again. Should be another sh another location around here. So be a little bit before we get there. See if I can I'll look up a map on my phone. UWO map. Okay, that gives me the University of Wisconsin. That does not work. So you have the Uncharted Waters Online map. Okay, there we go. And, yeah, there's two more cities we can maybe grab. Maybe one more. Because at the one that we're going to go to is literally perfectly north of the farm that we want to go to. Now, there is another farm we could have gone to. We probably had an easier time getting to. We could have gone to St. Lucia in the in the um, Caribbean but I l I've always gone with this one first mostly because you're already trying to discover these towns and cities along the coast so you might as well hit these up but yeah we're gonna come around the point here there'll be a a discovery point here that we don't need or not a discovery point a landing point and then it'll be a region and then Abijan, we will get that and then head straight south to Ascension Island. Let's check what we them. Let's check what our challenge mission would have got us. Look at all these things I yet to claim. Don't claim them all, everybody. It'll fill your inventory way too much. More secret no war packs. Veil of Dominions is good. Other secret no war pact. LCCTs. Ceasefire agreements, which I could just take. Because I already have a stack in there. Yeah, we're good. So there's our landing point. Come on over right here. Trading Zebex. Very good ships if you like them. Oh, look, I'm seeing a guy to rescue, maybe. Uh, if it's in front of the city, maybe we will do it. Otherwise, we will pass. Our AIDS trust is still four. Hasn't gone up. Start. I see the rescue symbol. I don't see them out in the distance yet, but if the rescue symbol is right in front of the city, we will we will totally do it and get the reward. Because right now we have one letter of appreciation, and it's okay to stack them up and just keep on getting more. We're almost there for our, our advanced memento ship for uh, adventure. Once we hit level 21, that's what we're going to do. I think we actually might hit the ship. It's like literally right in front of the city. I think I see it. You could kind of see it at the edge of the horizon, right where the moon just kind of rose there.
Because if I go in the port and come back out, it won't be there anymore, I believe, so. Looks like it's a little bit past our location. I believe that's it. Hopefully it's not like a too terrible of a job. Sometimes it's searching for stuff. I think I might have shown this on camera already because I have one, but sometimes it's searching, searching for stuff. Sometimes it's just giving them food. Sometimes it's using rescue. Which do we have rescue? As a skill. No, it's not. Yeah. Let's see. All right, here he is. So remember, we need to come to a stop. Requesting supplies. Let's hope that's all it takes. We gotta come to a stop. Stop. Come on. There we go. Sure. See, sometimes they're really simple like that. Really simple. All right, now we can go back and hit up this one last city. <laughs> Even giving them 10 of each, we still have 25 days of supply, so that's good. so good somebody requested on my videos uh, that I do uh, more of the event quests I would like to they're just really not that exciting they're really just following along stuff and I know that some people say like oh the, 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 the guides don't give you every little detail and show you exactly where everybody is and that's true they don't but it's not impossible to figure out without a video um, if I find come to a point where I realize that there's some difficulty in something then I might make the video but I really don't want to do the entire series it's a lot of chapters it would be like probably 30 plus videos of me doing it because it's just a lot of sailing so Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be showing it, but it is something I know that people want to see. Um, maybe I'll do the last few quests, because the last few tend to be kind of hard, or maybe I'll show those real caps where things get really hard, like just battles and stuff that are involved, and maybe then, but I'm not going to show everything. It's just way too much to show. Okay, we have best. Check the marker keeper. What do they got? See more cotton. So that's good. Another place for cotton. Okay. Stop off at the tavern. We don't need it to be perfect. Okay. And now we're literally just going to sail straight south of here. Because where we're going is literally straight south. Put on our three items. So it is literally straight south. Well, 
not according to this map, but to other maps that I was just looking at, it's pretty much straight south. So that's, that's it'll come in within view as we head straight south. Sunday stretches. It is a bit of a grind to sail, but I'm telling you, once you get the setup, you don't need to come back. You just don't. I mean, unless if you really want to do, but you don't need to come back. It's just one of those things you kind of want to do sooner rather than later, because every day when you log into the game, you get the ability to develop your farm. And by developing it means like working towards the progress of constructing a new structure at the farm that produces more goods for you so this farm's not even going to start producing anything for us for like five or six days of logging in because we're going to need to uh, log in develop the facility that we want to develop so in this case I'm going to try to develop a pasture I think so I can make uh, sheep and then I can take the sheep and I can turn them into wool and then knitted fabric so that's going to be my focus, I think. So, but it's going to take time to get there. Like, you're not just going to be like, you're going to get there and then you can start a farm and then you'll start producing sheep like every five, six, five minutes. It's like every 24 hours you get like 10 to 20 sheep, you know? And as you do that, you will get, um, you will get, um, what you want to start getting skills. So it's just, everything like this game as always is always a grind. But a rewarding one. I see the island on the map, which means that it should be arriving soon in our view. I want to say roughly right here. Come on. Come on. You gotta be close. There it is. I see it. I see the lights. And it's gonna look like it's just a regular landing point because it's gonna have like the palm trees or whatever that you've been seeing at the, most of those other non city locations. there land ho captain all right we're almost there but so that's how you get here Okay, so in case you didn't catch how I got here, I just sailed pretty much along the African coast and sailed straight south from uh, that last city we were just in. So, that's how you get here. Having just vertical sails probably also doesn't help. Alright. Private farm. Private farm is an island you can own where... You can own where you can build facilities that yield various trade goods once a day in real time. You can possess a private farm by landing on the island. The location of your private farm can be checked on the charts. Types of arable lands are, u are easy to build and trade goods producible are different based on the island you possess. So this is why I say it depends on what island you go to. I find this one to be just as fine so far for my uses. You can check the development level necessary to develop each type of arable land before you actually possess that island. So there is a way, I just don't know how. Just go to the website, I'm sure there's an example on the wiki. Alright, so we could possess this land, or we could change ship, or we could sail. 
we're going to possess this land. Here's the plot information. We can get five farming facilities, four mining facilities, five fishing facilities, and four ranching facilities. I don't know if this is the best ranching facility, but the ranch is what I'm really focused on here because I want to be able to get um, goats and uh, goats, maybe cows, and uh, definitely sheep. Look at that. Avoid sea battles just ended too, so that's good. 30 minutes is up. So we'll occupy this land. You have now your dominion over this private farm. And it should convert the land over for me. And blah, blah, blah. And now it's mine. We've been assigned over the manager's land, so he'll probably tell me some information. I'm just going to click all through this. There's information in here that if you want specifics to, be my guest. But that's just how you get to this stage. Now you can talk to him and you can click private farm and see a new tab where it'll show you 0 to 5 facilities, 0 to 4, 0 to 5, 0 to 4 for each of these kinds. So now you want to develop a facility. So you check check which kind of land you want. I'm going to go to ranch and I'm going to say I'm going to develop my ranch. I can develop my ranch with a pasture or a poultry farm. I want to focus the pasture. I can also do poultry chickens and plus chickens but I can't use their goods right now that they create so we're gonna do the pasture and that develop it 16 out of 75 in the development level okay and you can always empty your lands out and do it again but that's it now tomorrow I'm gonna to have to come back and I'm gonna to have to develop again and I'll get another 16 points towards it and it won't be until you know 16 times you know six seven days whatever it might be until this is fully developed and I actually start seeing a result of whatever uh, the good is. I don't get to choose the good until after the, default, the uh, pasture has been developed. So, you're given a stock item of a reserve hoe, which is used in farming, stored in the private farm, and gives plus one to agricultural skills. Uh, I don't think that gives to your um, uh, other stuff, but look at that. This gives you plus one to mining skills. See, these are the things I don't realize if they do this. Normally these probably have different effects. So there you go. If you still have reserve candles and you need mining stuff, go ahead and put that in there. Uh, I'm wondering if I can if I unequip it. Like if I unequip that and say put that or this instead. It doesn't give me anything except for some formality, so let's let's do this. Go to stock items and see. Yeah, so I can put another item in there because we plus one mining skills. I don't know how long it'll last for, but let's put it in there. Get some item out of our inventory too. We're getting kind of full, and then the warehouse will show you everything that's already been produced and what you can pick up, and what's in your space. You can hold up to 15 different trade types in your inventory. Your warehouse can probably hold more, but since I have nothing produced, that's the end of it. And then of course you have the ability to rest up here. Resting up will give you full. Um, vigor and reduce your sailor's fatigue, I believe. No, actually it doesn't do the fatigue, but it does get your vigor back up. So, there you have it, everybody. That's how you get a farm. Be sure to check in every day to the bank, uh, wherever you are, and you will have the ability to click the farm option, and you could do that same stuff that you saw me do there, where you develop your land every day. And develop it every day till you have all of the building's built. You can have up to four in some and up to five in others. So develop every day. Don't forget. It's very important. It'll be like the one thing you're going to want to do every single day. There'll be a couple, couple things that you want to do every day when you log in this game. Get tow permits and develop your facility and claim your uh, trade goods from your warehouse every day. Hopefully this video is informative to everybody and um, there's going to be more videos coming. Uh, I haven't figured out exactly where I'm going to go from right here next. Maybe I'll be doing some off-camera grinding, like I said, to get my uh, studding sails eventually made. And uh, that'll be it. And then hopefully uh, I'll, I'll show you guys how to do uh, the next major set of quest lines, which are unlocking the um, port permits for the Suez Canal, the Panama Canal, and getting out East Asia and the... Uh, the Indies and the other areas unlocked so we can travel to much farther places. 
Um, that's all taking going to take time, but I think the best focus right now is to level up your character so that you can use faster ships to make the rest of what's going to happen later go much faster. All right, everyone, thanks again for watching. It's been great. This is Chuck Thunder with Gonzo River. I'm signing off, and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, everyone.